Hey guys, it's Ellie. So today I'll be showing you some washi tape and duct tape crafts for the holidays. Let's get into it. My first Christmas craft is this really cute ornament card. For this you will need paper, a marker or pen, scissors, tape, and a blank card. You can find blank cards at craft stores. So start off with your paper. All you have to do is just take some tape and line it in strips down the paper. Keep in mind that this is going to be cut into a circle, so make sure that it will fit in the circle and that you won't make them too short. So continue laying your tape in strips until you have it long enough to be a full circle. Now once you have all of your tape lined up, take anything round, I use the top of a mason jar, and go ahead and just draw around that. Now take your scissors and cut that circle out. Once you have your circle, you can tape or glue that onto your card. Now it's time to draw the top of your ornament. You could do this however you'd like. I actually was looking at a picture, but do it any way that you think looks cute. And once you've finished, that is all. Now you can write Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, whatever you'd like to write at the bottom. And this is a very unique card to give to a friend or family member. Now I'm showing you this easy washi tape ornament. I used a clear glass ornament for this and I squirted some white paint in it and rolled it around so that the paint would spread all throughout the inside of the ornament until it looked like this. Now I took off the top of the ornament and I grabbed some very skinny washi tape and covered the ornament around in strips. I used three different kinds of washi tape and covered it four times. So what you want to do is just continue washi taping or duct taping if you'd like your ornament until you are happy with the design. You can either cover the whole thing or just do it in strips like I did. Once you've finished covering your ornament, you can put a ribbon or hook on it and hang it up. This is super super cute and it's very simple. My next idea is this Christmas tree card. For this you will need scissors, a blank card, a yellow piece of paper, and washi tape. This works best if your tape is green or Christmas themed. I start off by drawing the shape of a star. If you'd like, you can also just cut this and not draw it at all. Then I just cut out my star and I put it to the side. Now take your tape and start making strips with the long one at the bottom and getting shorter until you get to the top. This will look like a Christmas tree. You can either cut this or rip it, which I thought looked really cute. So you just want to keep doing this until you get to the top, then grab your star and glue it on. I think this is a really cool card to give to someone, plus it's really easy and it's perfect for Christmas. Now I'll be showing you this duct tape dry erase gift tag. You will need any kind of duct tape for this. I use this cute ribbon Christmas design. Take a very long strip of duct tape and then fold it over in half. Make sure it's completely flat with no air bubbles and there's no sticky part hanging out. Now take a pair of scissors and cut it off. If there's a little bit of sticky parts hanging out, you can of course just trim it down. Cut diagonally from the side to the top of your strip of duct tape so it's in the shape of a gift tag. Now grab a hole puncher or an X-Acto knife and cut a hole right at the top. Next it's time to add a ribbon and you are completely finished. Now grab a gift and tie on your gift tag. Take a dry erase marker or you can use a regular sharpie or pen and write the name of whoever you're giving this gift to. This is super super easy and it's very original and I'm sure that the person you're giving this to will love it. My next craft is another card and it's this design of a super cute gift. What you'll need for this is a small piece of paper that you can cut out of regular paper and also another blank card. Start off by taking some washi tape or regular duct tape and just row your tape in lines and you can just put this right on top of your paper or you can go ahead and put this on your card but I want to make sure that they were all the right length. So I went ahead and just trim that. Then I took some tape and I taped that onto the middle of my card. Now take some tacky glue and any type of bow, you can cut this out of ribbon 
or you can find it at the craft store which is what I did and just go ahead and glue this on the top of your square so then it looks like a cute gift then you can go ahead and write whatever you'd like and it looks super cute my next idea is this clothespins card hanger so what you'll need for this are some clothespins, scissors, any type of tape, and twine. Take your twine and measure it for as long as you'd like your clothespin hanger to be. Now go ahead and snip that off. Now take any type of tape that you'd like. I use this mini washi tape because it ended up fitting perfectly on the clothespins. And just line that right along the side of the clothespins and cut it off. Now just continue doing that for as many clothespins as you'd like. I ended up using 10 and this seemed to work perfectly. Once you have covered all of your clothespins, now you can hang up your twine and line all of your clothespins along the twine. Now you can add any cards, pictures, notes, whatever you would like to hang. It looks very, very cute and it's very useful because then you don't have cards or pictures all cluttered around. It's a nice decor piece that's also very personal and it's perfect for the holidays. My last idea is this candle tape lantern. For this you'll need a jar, a candle, and of course some tape. All you have to do for this is take any kind of tape that you'd like and wrap it around your jar. You can do this until the end of the jar or until as high as you'd like it. If you'd like this to look a little bit more simple, you can only use one or two different kinds of tapes, but if you'd like it to be a little bit more unique, you can use all different kinds of tapes like I did. Once you've finished wrapping around all your tape, add in a candle and you can also tie on a ribbon if you'd like, like I did. And this is it. It's really easy and it's very, very cute. Plus it's cool because you can still see the light through the washi tape because it's a little see-through and it's very personable to your own style. Alright guys, that's the end of my video. I hope you enjoyed. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you did and I'll talk to you next time. Bye!